So anyway, the first thing I built when I came here, when I was still working, was that gazebo. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was right there on the ground. The bridge was here. I built the bridge, too. And George and my neighbor on a Saturday afternoon were sitting here. And, oh, I don't know. We were just talking. He said, you know what you ought to do, Bob? You, you ought to build a, uh, a giant deck here and put that while we were drinking. I said, George, you're out of your mind. You know, I said, there's no way. Well, that, when was that? That was probably at about 19, I don't know, 1990 or something like that. Well, <laughs> it's a long story. The more I thought about it, I thought, well, maybe. Watch your step, this can be slippery. This set of blocks is three units by five units. Damn it. It's okay. And see that how that's split? And then see this unit this set of blocks is two by five, okay? See how that's split? So I take these set of blocks, I split them apart with these two like this, and I arrange it like this, and I get three by eight, right? Mm -hmm. What's three times eight? Twenty-four. I take them like this, put them on top of one another, one set. I get five times five, same set of blocks. Now, how does that work? Do you know? Can you guess? I mean, see, that's math. People say 24 is an equal to 25. Well, pictorially, I showed you it does, right? Mm -hmm. she, she plays the um, viola in the Charlotte Symphony Orchestra. Her husband plays the clarinet. She did all this by herself. I mean, it's amazing. This used to be nothing but total poison ivy. I never came back here because I don't like poison ivy. Well, I mean, that's why Allie and I are doing this, you know, to, to help, you know, prevent erosion. I don't want to lose these trees. These yeah. Why would I want to stop them if they, if they were interested in, you can see, some of the kind of, I always like math. And uh, 
you see I have all these polyhedrons. You know what a polyhedron is, right? Yeah. A solid structure, three-dimensional structure. It, oh, by the way, there's 13 Archimedean solids and five Platonic solids, and every one of them are here somewhere. And, and I don't know, my impression is that the kids and the people that come are more interested in that kind of weird stuff. What is that? So the kids are more, and if I can interest kids in being interested in math or science or engineering, I think that's not a bad idea, do you? If it makes them uh, take a little bit of interest, uh, more of an interest in uh, math or science or art, if you want to call it art in a way, why not? I mean, isn't that good for everybody?